Hey guys, in this video I will show you the best Sova darts which you can use on the new map Lotus and we will start with this dart which you can use at the beginning of the round but there's a barrier you just wanna stand in this corner right here do it at one bounce and full charge and send out your dart right in the middle of this column so it should look like this it's gonna bounce up and land perfectly right on here. this corner that way it would spot right if here. there's anyone here, right here or in these corners or anyone pushing if you are attacking right into here. A doors on A side this is the best arrow you have to know and have to use. So you just want to go into your hard line and you want to place your hard line into this corner where it meets these corners. Just this little tip just right there. It's quite easy to remember and very easy to place there. And then all you need to do is to one charge. And you simply send down to your darts. It's going to go through the roof right here and land on the side. It would be very difficult for enemies to spot and see it come in, and it would spot anyone anywhere in these A doors, and even anyone who is all the way here. So this dart is super useful, and definitely try to use it. And when you are in A doors and you want to go out, simply doing choke dart on this corner is gonna work great. Just simply aim there, full charge it, and land there your shirt lender your record and as you can see it would reveal right anyone in these corners right pretty much all the spells that you should be worried about when you are going to enter in a post plant if you want to get the info if the enemies are coming out to spawn just simply you can be standing under this heaven area right and here. place your simply crosser on this side full charge it and send there your dart and as you can see it's gonna land perfectly on the corner it will be very difficult to break and will get you the info if there's anyone on spawn or, right or anyone already in heaven since you are in a pretty secure spot to run it from here when you are defending there's plenty of uh, recons so at the beginning of the round you can do just simply sun it on the wall right there or simply right aim it even right here to do this tricky shock dart i mean recon so that way it would once again spot right anyone here. in these corners and it's quite difficult to predict this one Another lineup you can do right here when you are in heaven on A side. So at the beginning of the round, just simply hack this back wall and place your diamonds on this, right here. on this, on this wall under these leaves, just like that. Doesn't really matter where you place it, and you want to one charge. It's gonna land pretty quickly, and it will always land anywhere right on this back side. So that way you would get the info where the enemies are. When you are retaking A side, there are three arrows which are very simple and you want to try to use them. So for example, firstly, do this one on this corner, that way you clear this silent drop and these spots. Also, you can do a very simple one just as you peek. So for example, like this, simply on the wall right there, that way you would clear all of these spots. And then for the last one, you just want to simply send out your dart into the backside, just like that. So that way you would get the other info of these spots. If you are coming on B through A link and either if you are attacking or, or defending, you can always try to use this simple arrow. Just simply shoot it through the wall right there. And as you can see, it would be up there and it would spot a lot of places and get you info of enemies on site. When you are attacking on B, you can very simply do lineups like this from the corner right there. Simply one bounce and full charge it, so that way it's gonna land right here. Or you can just very simply do your darts either on the ceiling, for example, like this. Once again, they would be quite difficult to break and they would get you a lot of info. You can do it on the close corner right here or on the further corner, just like there. And once again, works pretty much the same way. However, if you do it right here... You would right get more here. info on these spots than if you did it right there. And if you wanted to do your lineup from here, just make sure that there is this little gap. Place your crosshair right here in the middle. Doesn't really matter, just pretty much eyeball it at this height. And you wanna one bounce and full charge. And this dart is gonna always land right here in the back right or on this wall, depending how big of a gap you make there. So very simple. And of course you can be doing the same thing when you are taking as well once again stand right here make that this little gap you want to one bounce and full charge and if you crouch and place your cursor right on this line just right there it's gonna land on the roof right there like at this difficult spot to shoot and once again it's gonna get you the whole info of sight and if there's anyone in B main. When you are attacking on C, you can try to use this dart, which is super good to use. Once again, stand in this corner at these boxes. And you want to be placing the line between your ultimate and your recon right on top of this uh, crystal on top of the snake head. And you want to two charge. Just like that. And shoot it. It's going to fly over the wall and land perfectly in the middle of this pillar right here. 
That's why it would reveal if there's anyone in these spots. Also, when you are attacking on C, you can try using your dart right here on this corner. So when you are coming here, just simply jump it, jump and full charge and shoot your dart at this spot. That way, you would prevent anyone pushing anywhere in these unexpected corners. And anyone who might be holding you, maybe with operator or other weapon who might be trying to challenge you, you will get the info about them. And another little arrow that you can do, you can be right trying here. to shoot it right here. Works pretty much the same way. However, yeah, if that yeah. arrow is being broken, shooting it on right this here. corner is gonna work fantastic. Since as you can see, once again, it clears all of these corners. Right it, however, it doesn't go that deep, but still, it's gonna clear these corners, which are most important for you to check perfectly. When you are defending, there's plenty of lineups that you can do as well. So, for example, right you're going to be placing your crosshair on this wall right there and just simply full charge it and land it on the side there. So, you want to aim above it. And when it lands, it would be very difficult to see it coming when the enemies are here at the beginning of the round and usually would get your one scan almost every time. You can be also trying to right shoot your dart anywhere on this We're side or right, right here. here in the back as well. Scanning ahead. So all of these will scan anyone who might be coming in. When you are retaking sight, you can try doing this simple lineup. Right simply here. jump and full charge your arrow on this wall in the back, Revealing just right area. there. And as you can see, it would spot anyone in these spots and it lands pretty high right up. Here. So that's why it gets really far as well. One of the arrows that you can use either for retake or when you, if you want to get the info if there's anyone in the C main. You just simply place your crosshair right here right on this here. corner and full charge it there. You don't want to place it in uh, perfectly on the corner, just pretty much as I'm placing it right now and on the side of it. So that way, when you release it, it will land anywhere in this area. And as you can see, it will, e it will go all the way here in C. And also it will spot anyone who would be in this area since the arrow is going to land right there. So this is a great and very simple arrow to use. And of course you can be doing this the other way around as well. So you can maybe you wanna stand here in the back and you wanna jump and full charge the arrow right on the wall there. And as you can see it would reveal anyone in this area. Or you can just simply stand here in the back, aim in the height of right this uh this tip and just right just as I'm aiming right now, and you wanna one charge. So it's gonna land right here in the back. Right and once again, it was really anyone who would be coming. And, you, and this is the great spot to combine it with your ultimate since it's really narrow and it would be difficult for enemies to get out of it. And lastly, if you are in this area and you wanna support players on A, you can go into this corner right here. Place your charge part line on this corner right here, the bottom of it, the first charge bar line as I'm placing right now and you wanna do a two charge. So that way the arrow will go a long way and it's gonna land perfectly on the corner right here. And it would spot anyone who would be in this aiming area. It would be very difficult for enemies to see and if you do this at the beginning of the round you can get a lot of info. So don't forget just by simply standing right in this corner.